this is Christine with Coco Daisy and today I wanted to show you my uh, November Simple Dory and what I've uh, done we for November with our Simple Dory booklet. We now offer a Simple Dory uh, kit. It's, a it's listed as the Traveler's Notebook Memory Keeping Kit. And so now not only can you get just the booklet, you can get the booklet with an instruction sheet from me on how to do a couple layouts, as well as all of the other stuff that you would need to, to create a book like this. So, but this is my November one. I wanted to just kind of page through and just talk a little bit about the pages and the design and, and so on. I had this beautiful kind of birch wrapping paper leftover that I used um, and I covered mine with it and then I had this kind of fun little um, pine cone charm that I added to a clip on the front. I apologize for kind of the weird yellow cast going on but there is very little sunshine ever in the month of January in Michigan so I'm just kind of making do with what we have so I apologize there's a little bit of a weird color cast right now, but I did want to get these done and loaded so that you could look at them. So I usually put kind of November moments or the, the month with the word memory, something like that, kind of as my title page. And again, as I've mentioned before, the beauty of the Simple Dory booklets is that they have the patterned pages in them. It's kind of a no-brainer. It makes the design of the pages super fast and super easy. And I'm not a fan of my handwriting, so you're going to notice a lot of these pages don't have the journaling on them yet. I have to go back and do that. So I will add that here. That's on my list to do. But I'm just going to page through them and just kind of show you what I've done. So this one, I just left this side pretty simple. Just added some uh, alpha stickers and a stamped word. And then added um, a little tab with another stamped word, die cut, and that's it. I'm going to add my journaling down here. And then this page, I actually, the sticky note pad for um, the planner kit this for November were these leaves, and I actually used those as decoration on my page. I just added a photo, I had some um, chipboard alphas, and then our cute little die cut leaves and I just layered those in there. Again I have to add my journaling. This page was super simple. It had the um, the pattern already along the top. I added some of the washi tape, a strip of pattern paper, a little um, label with the date, and then small photo and then I actually just kind of um, kind of sprayed a little bit of black ink on the page there. I thought that was kind of pretty. You can see that. Actually, I'm going to see if I can zoom in just a little bit more for you. There we go. And this one, the, the pattern again is positioned. It makes it easy to create kind of a little layered focal point here. I've got a little picture of blue with the tag and a few die cuts. This was from one of the printables that I cut out. And then I'm not sure where I want to add my journaling. I think I'll do it over here. A little washi tape along the bottom. Super simple. And then this is one of my go-to type of layouts where you do like a full photograph on the page and then just add a little bit of a title or journaling or even a die cut just on the other page. So that's super simple. And then this one I did uh, four pieces of pattern paper, just kind of created a, a block background. Added my photo, a couple little word strips, and a few of the die cuts. And then my title here, and then I just drew kind of a, kind of a freehand sketchy line around there. And that one actually already has the journaling, I don't need to do anything with it. And then this one, I one of our stamps, I created a background pattern uh, just by stamping over and over the one stamp from the kit. I, there's a little piece of vellum in there, just kind of for fun. And then again, I talk about a lot of times reusing the packaging that we have. And this little piece of pattern right here is from one of the, um, the backer cards for our packaging. 
again, I, you can tell I love this washi. <laughs> so they use the washi again, little title, and a die cut. Super simple. And you're going to hear me say that 20 times, but that's what it is. That's the whole idea. And then this beautiful kind of um, birch pattern. And again, I used one of the, the sticky, uh, sticky notepad pieces as a die cut. Just some uh, little journal strips. And then this page, what I thought would be fun, I've taken notes, I kind of keep notes um, in my sketchbook now for the month. And what I'll go in and I'll write, not necessarily things that I wanted to create a whole page about, but that I, I want to remember. And so it can just be like random thoughts uh, for the month or random events. I could date that if I wanted to, you know, put the date and then a thought next to it. I just did a little stamping on a tag, so that's what I'll add for journaling on that side. And then um, this side, there's a picture, and then I stamped the title, and then I actually um, typed up the journaling on this page because there was quite a bit of it, and then just um, cut that out and adhered it to the page, which is another way that you can, you can add the journaling. And then this one, I just took a picture of our movie tickets. If you wanted to actually add the ephemera, you could make a little pocket and add the, the real movie tickets right in. Uh, a little piece of vellum that I attached to that with a die cut, and I, I, print, I ran that through the printer and added movie night. And then another simple page just with the title on this page and the photograph on that. And then this was a, the pattern paper was kind of the whole spread. And I wanted to kind of do something big and bold with this. So I balanced out the, the, the bigger picture with the larger title. And this was just cut out of pattern paper using my silhouette. So I cut that out of the, and I don't even know that I need to add any journaling to that. It's kind of a self-explanatory. You don't feel like you have to, I'm not a big journaler. You know, it's kind of the last thing, obviously, that I do. So I, I may not even need to add it to that one. This was just a picture that I took out in the driveway, and it was the pretty leaves, and I thought, you know, it really doesn't need anything more than the pretty pattern. And then I thought that this little saying was pretty, so I just adhered that with one of the die cuts from the kit, and that's done. And then our Thanksgiving. And this one, uh, these were from, I believe, one of the printables, and I cut those out, and then I added a few of the, the little enamel dots. I thought they were kind of pretty scattered down, going down with the leaves. And the thankful is cut out of um, pattern paper using this my silhouette machine. And then this page um, is pattern paper that I added. I did the little snow day tag. That's a, a from a stamp set that I had, and then the um, the little snowflakes. I added those with some white embossing powder. So those kind of give embossing is it's so fun to do, and the nice thing is it adds a little bit of dimension to your pages without adding a lot of bulk, which is nice. And then that's it. That is the last page. So that is my. November Simple Dory, just kind of a quick a flip through. I love how quickly I can I can put these together and I've got an entire month of memories all recorded. Super fast, super simple, <laughs> and that's November. So thank you so much. If you have any questions or you, there's um, something particular that you wanted to see me do or explain in an upcoming uh, notebook, let me know. Thank you so much.